we're gonna start this over Raven so when you're editing you got this <laughs> is up you guys welcome back to my channel my little flock of birds i am so happy to see you again and i actually really love books that's one thing you should know about me so today i decided to do a book review it'll be my first book review but i decided to do a book i didn't like because for me i don't know if it's just me but it's a lot easier for me to talk about something i don't like than to go in deep depth into something that I do like. So, as a DMV girl myself, being from Maryland, I decided it wasn't any better book than to review first than Shitless. And we're gonna be reviewing Shitless one and two today. And it's a series, so if you want me to review more of the series, just let me know down in the comment section down below. But, Shitless. I'm gonna read it to you. So it says, Shitless, be careful who you cross a novel by Ray. And it has names crossed off on the front, but one name is not crossed off. Let's see what it's about. Based in Southeast DC, Shitless is an explicit street tale about what occurs the moment revelation and revenge meet. When Yvonne's ghetto fabulous world is rocked after the brutal murder of her high school sweetheart, Bilal Santana, at the hands of her father, she learns a lot about the people around her. Behind her back, they conceal a sultry secret involving her best friend and deceased boyfriend. Unable to move past her anger, which eventually causes her to get into a major car accident, she leaves DC, fleeing only to Baltimore. There, she remains nourishing the hate she feels inside. Four years later, angrier and crazier than ever, she decides to return home to one by one extract revenge on those who made what she affectionately refers to as her shit list. From defecating on a grave site to murder, she reigns supreme at completing her mission of destroying their lives. That is, until she reaches the last name on the list. With him, her plans are difficult to carry out. With the love she feels for him prevent, ooh, will the love she feels for him prevent her from following through with her plan? Or will old memories push her to go even further? In the end, all will be revealed and you'll be blown away. And then it has a review at the bottom. That was a lot, just as the book is a lot. Man, from the if that if that was the summary on the back, can you imagine the actual book? I know, right? Okay, so overall, it's only I believe it was two hundred pages. Excuse me, two hundred one. But overall, it was only two hundred and one pages, so it was a pretty easy read. This was one of the books I read in the book club and we did it in two sessions where we read 100 and then 101. But let's look at the Goodreads review because Goodreads, they tend to just know what a good book is. So if it has a bad rating on Goodreads, and I don't mean like three stars and above, I mean like below three stars, you know it's not the book for you. So on Goodreads, it actually has a 4.51 and has 109 reviews and it was published in 2007. Okay, so it's actually really good. It's really good reviews on Goodreads. Almost five stars. That's good. I'll say for me, I went into this book not expecting much. And this book, I really, I really, really love this. I read this book and cannot wait to get to the second one. I read this book and said, yes. Like it was the drama that I needed in my life. And I'm looking in my head like, can someone be this crazy? And I'm over here looking like a bum because about what I'm about to say next after I review this book. But it made me almost feel crazy to be involved in, to, to be reading this book. Like, 
the things that happened in this book from the betrayal of her best friend. I don't want to include any spoilers, but also I'm doing the book. How can I say it without spoilers? So from the betrayal of her best friend to her boyfriend dying at the most prevalent time of her life, like when she really, really needed him. I'm talking like she needed him in her life at this point in time. So with all of that happening, this book, it was, it was honestly a very, very quick read. I didn't expect the book to be as quick of a read as it was. Before I knew it, I was on page 106. And I was like, wait, wait, I've only been reading for like an hour. It's because the pages flow so well together. However, I will say that there were a lot of like, grip. I'm a grammar stickler, but if there were a lot of grammar and punctuation issues in here. So um, editing was kind of a problem. If that bothered, ooh, excuse me. If that bothers you a lot, then I wouldn't say that this is the book for you. But the author does a great job at characterizing each person individually. Like you can just tell the way they talk when you read it. And it's like, I know someone who speaks like this, or I think I can picture what this person sounds like in my head. Is that type of book. And the stuff that she does in this book, even though that Yvonne is supposed to be the bad person, I can't help it but to root for her. Like she's amazing to me. And with that being said, if I read the first one, of course I had to read the second one because it got me hooked. The second one, Shitless 2, Loose Cannon. This is the book cover. I know it's, it's gorgeous, right? Um, she has one name, well, she has a list of names piled over top of each other, it looks like. Or is it just one? She has one name on top crossed off, but then she has three more names on her shit list. And did I mention, I really like how she spelled shit list. Like, it's not shit as in the curse word, but shit as in S-H-Y-T. That was clever. Let's read the summary for this book, book two. So, shit list to loose cannon. The most anticipated sequel and the most hated villain, Yovana Harris, is back. And worse than ever before, on a mission and fresh out of the mental institution, Yovana returns to Washington, D.C. to finish what she started. Forcing Trayana to help her, she wastes no time getting down to business. Everything seems to be going as planned, that is, until you remember that in the shit list, nothing is as it seems. With the help of Ming Chi, a nail designer and personal friend, Yovana discovers some new things about herself and even brings her new boyfriend, Bradshaw, along for the ride. Soon, everything in control goes out of control when Yovana's name unexpectedly makes it on several shit lists. Caution, shit lists? Fans already know that you should pay more attention to what isn't said than what is said. Shitless 2 explodes with drama, violence, humor, sexuality, and suspense. And most importantly, read at your own risk. Oh, and try not to ruin the story for others. I liked <laughs> I liked that last little warning in there. That's most definitely something that um, I struggle with. But we're not going to talk about it. Shitless 2, it was really good. I really, really liked it. And at this point in reading in the series, I, I didn't know whether I should root for Yovana or not. So this kind of contains spoilers for the first book. So if you want, if you plan on reading the first book after my description of it, I, I hope you, that you don't look at the rest of this video. Give it a thumbs up, but don't look at the rest of this video because it won't do you justice. But what you could do is watch the first half of this video and then come back for the review of Shitless 2 once you've read Shitless 1. Shitless 2 was good, um, but after I was done reading it, I was done reading it. I was not about to 
finish the rest of the series because after reading both of these books, you will feel crazy. It is so much in the story that is not said that you have to pay attention to and to focus so much on that it's like, I feel like I'm going crazy. Like you over here in your head debating who's real and who's fake. You're like, is this one of her personalities? Is this, spoiler, I told you, if you read, if you didn't read the first book yet, then you shouldn't be listening to this part of the video. Okay. But I was wondering if it was one of her personalities or what it was. I was clueless, baby. I was clueless. But after it, I'll definitely say it gave me a headache. Like I was so happy to be done with it. And in contrast to the first book, this one had, it wasn't a lot of pages, but it had 203 pages. So not that much more, two pages extra. Um, but also I like this book so much. I don't know whether I just got the wrong copy the first time, but it had a list of discussion questions. You guys probably can't see it because the cameras won't focus. Cameras? Camera won't focus. But it had a list of discussion questions. And that list of dis... Hey babe. What you doing? Hi. Hi. So it has a list of discussion questions in the back, which I feel like really helped us when we had book club and we wanted to talk about certain parts. Um, I can't read the rest of the series after reading this book because I feel like I'll actually lose my freaking mind. Are you kidding me? There's so much that happens in here and I don't even know if I grasp half of it, not even a quarter of it, to be honest with you. I can't. But let's look at the Goodreads reviews for Shitless 2. Mm -hmm. So I got a 4.6 on Goodreads. It's even better than the first one. In my opinion, which one is better? I'm gonna go for Shitless 1 because honestly, like I said before, by the end of Shitless 2, I was kind of over the entire series. Would not, <laughs> I don't think for the next year, I'm gonna be able to look at the series the same way. Once I've forgotten a little bit of the plot, I might be able to pick up the third book, but I'm just, I'm not there yet. Too much crazy, it's kind of terrifying, but we're not gonna get into that. So my preferred book out of the two, the first one. Don't mess with the classic. I hope you guys choose to read at least one of these books just for the experience because I think if you grow up in the DMV, you should read some some writings. Is that the word I was looking for? Books? Okay, you should read books by other people in the DMV. And it's definitely a good book to uh, focus your sights on. Bye. I am woman.